Today, I want to tell you about Honey, the dog who broke my heart. Honey was a street dog who, under the watchful eye of community carers, had surpassed the accepted lifespan of four years. She was well known and liked in the area, but tragedy struck one fateful day when she became the target of a dog hater. She was pursued, a vengeful person behind the wheel hit her. This happened in broad daylight in the town and thankfully was recorded by a quick thinking member of the public. I was sent the material and broke down watching her running away after she was rammed by the car. She was in a critical state and admitted to ICU. She had chest injuries, internal bleeding, a nasty existing infection, pyometra, and a broken arm. Our vets worked so hard for days to keep her alive and heal her. Every day was a roller coaster of emotions for them, shelter staff, and us. Our vet told us that the damage to her lungs was severe, and because she had multiple problems, her chances were slim. These conversations are always difficult and highly emotionally charged. Sometimes there are tears, and this was one of those times. Honey started to improve and we were all hopeful, but then she took a turn for the worst. Our vets fixed all her problems, but they couldn't keep on top of the infection, which eventually took her life. Days like that hit us all very, very hard. To this day, whenever I think about her, I cry. We gave her a little pink collar and a name. She left this world as somebody, not something. In those last days, she was loved for the first time in her life, and to this day, she still is. We made a digital memorial garden for her, which you can visit on our website. The garden is a place of solace for those of us who struggle with the losses. It helps us come to terms with the passing of dogs and reminds us how important it is to keep on going, because there are so many dogs just like Honey out there, desperately needing somebody to care for them.